RSIS. Thank you, Chair. From S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies in Singapore, we thank the expert panel for the very useful briefing and also want to reiterate what the delegate from FIRST has said, that we urge states to make use of the stakeholders who are here, who can assist in capacity building in all forms, ranging from technical capacity building to policy and even in facilitating of norms and implementation checklists, just as we have done for ASEAN in the workshops that we have conducted. So the stakeholders are here and we are ready to help. Thank you. Thank you, RSIS. I think that's a fantastic message to take home today. The stakeholders are here to help in terms of capacity building, in terms of a range of technical issues. I think that underlines the need to engage with stakeholders in our process. And I'm very happy that in this format, we have the participation of stakeholders plus also experts uh, yesterday and today and throughout the week. Uh, and I think this is something that we need to reflect on, how stakeholders have been able to contribute to our process, not just today and yesterday, but also last Friday at the Global Roundtable, and prior to that, um, the launch of the POC directory. As the work of the OEWG gets more and more technical and more and more action-oriented, we need stakeholders, because we need to work in partnership uh, with everyone, uh, not just for resources, but also for knowledge and capacity, technical know-how, technology. So I, I take that point from RSIS for the uh, Office of uh, uh, Partnership extended uh, today. And I hope that delegations will take back this message of partnership with stakeholders uh, from this week's uh, engagement, plus also the engagements last week. I see no other requests for the floor, so I'd like to go back to uh, the expert panelists.